Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Luis Penuelo versus Fernando Padilla. Luis, 8-1 plus 145 underdog, which, okay. 29 years old, 5'10", with a 69 and a half inch reach. Fernando, 15-5, 3-2 in his last five fights. He looked great against Julian Erosa. Juicy J. Looked awful against Kyle Nelson, minus 170 favorite, 27 years old, 6-1. With a 76 inch reach, six and a half inch reach advantage for Padilla. So, if you watch uh, Luis Penuelo's uh, contender series fight against Robbie King, I think his name was, it started out with Robbie King pushing, putting the pressure on him, throwing combinations, and you learned real quick the tight boxing combinations it does worry me a little bit that uh, fernando does have such a big reach advantage because it's going to be harder for lewis to get in but he's gonna have to eat some to get in and i think he's i think he's able to do that and i think we've seen with the kyle nelson fight padilla is not as good in close that's the reality you know so seven finishes out of eight wins seven tko or ko one win by decision and also a loss by decision uh, technically, he should be, what is that, 13-2 and two overall. You know, losing to uh, a split decision and then losing a split decision in his uh, pro, date, pro um, career as well. In his amateur and his pro. So, yeah, I, I really like Luis uh, Penuelo. I think he does a lot of good things. His combinations are really nice, really n nasty. Takedown defense, he did get taken down a couple of I believe a couple of times. He made a bad IQ decision, and the guy took him down. He got worked his way back up. Threw a nasty knee to the body while he was on the ground with Robbie King. It was nasty. Um, and that that's that was his best opponent. He did fight Herbert uh, Penway, uh, Puri, Ray, Perra, 13-2, and two, and then fought, like I said, Robbie King on the contender series. Um, Fernando's definitely fought the better of competition. I think that's that's a reality as well. Did lose to Spike Carlisle five years ago, but it's five years ago. Um, and again, after seeing the Kyle Nelson performance, I don't have a lot of faith anymore in Padilla. He just looks so bad against a guy that's not even not even a journeyman, just not that good. Uh, Luis Penuelo will be your winner. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.